yeah. No, okay, start it all over again. Boop. Hi, my loves. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica Alexandria of Bahati Life. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is your Astro Tarot and Intuitive Forecast for the week of June 10th, 2019. For those of you guys that are brand new to the channel, welcome. Big hugs. I'm seeing a lot of growth lately, and I'm very grateful for that. For those of you guys that are old friends to the channel and probably need a reminder as far as how I'm working these readings now because I have changed up my method and my ways in order to better serve you and myself, Basically, what I do in the morning is 22 to 30 minutes of meditation, sometimes into an hour, where I pull messages and I communicate with my angels, my guides, collectively, and ask them what is the message that we need to hear for this week, all of us as a whole. So these readings are very much general. The other thing that I do is I take three piles, well four technically, but three major piles. The first pile represents the start of the week. The second pile represents the mid to um, the mid of the week, the middle of the week. And then the third pile represents the end of the week. So the first pile, the first card set of cards is Monday through Wednesday. The second pile is Wednesday, so there is an overlap on into Friday. And the third pile is Friday into Saturday. Another little bit of an overlap, but I just like to carry that energy because energy doesn't just stop. Just because as humans, we said that, okay, Monday through Wednesday, that's when this is, and like energy doesn't work that way. The other thing that I do have, if you see me looking over here, is the astrology chart for this week ahead because I am an astrologer. And then if you see me looking over here, this is my notes that I pulled while I was in my meditation. So if you ever have questions about that, that's to help to clear that up. And then also what you can expect is challenges, things that are working against us, things that we need to be aware of, and then things that are working for us. That being said, let's go ahead and dive in. The first thing that I did that I'm seeing that I want to talk to you guys about is the fact that Sun Square Neptune is bleeding into this energy of this week. It's very important that we talk about this because the Sun does not move as fast as we think it does, and that energy that most people think that it is that it does. So that energy bleeds into the rest of you know the majority of this week. I'm not gonna lie to you. Now, the sun falling in the sign of Gemini brings this restless energy. This is where all of our, our energy is being focused as a collective, as a whole. It doesn't matter if you're a Virgo or if you're a Libra, a Scorpio, Sagittarius. This is where our energy is being asked to go or being guided to go as a collective, as a whole. And if that is being said, the sun square Neptune creates a little bit of a problematic energy. I'm not going to lie. And how this is and why this is, is because there is, when, when Neptune comes in, in the sign of Pisces, it brings in illusion, fantasy, deception. And it's asking me to ask you guys, what is it that you want? It's asking me to ask you guys, is this fact? Is this real? It's asking me to ask you guys to fact check, to if you are investing your energy, if you are taking someone's word as bond, if you are accepting this as truth and as reality, I want you guys to question it, whatever that is, and look for the tinier details. That was one thing that I saw as a challenge for this week actually is that we need to ground ourselves because not everything is as it seems. This is a seven of swords being reversed. And the good thing is that if there is something being moved, if there is something being cunning or done uh, done under the radar, there is a little bit of a trail of a breadcrumbs, you know, a little bit of some hints and some conversations, some text messages, some details, some fine print that is going to trigger you to be like, wait, what is this? When you feel that, wait, that's not right, that doesn't feel right, okay, that, that tweet, that, you know, comment, that message, this fine print right here, this thing when they said that, it just didn't resonate. I need to look into that. That is exactly what it is that you need to do. There is a lot of energy this week covering the energy of this week that says you know exactly what it is that you need to do. Some of you guys, this is your mind over your heart, meaning that your heart has been speaking to you. Your intuition has been speaking to you and saying, look, there is beauty in the situation. Something that you thought was negative, something that you thought was bad, or that you tried to mentally push out of your life is still there growing and persisting for a reason. So instead of 
looking at that and finding fault in it, find the beauty in it because there is something beautiful there and you have to return back and maybe say sorry or maybe reconcile or maybe repair the damage of what has happened before. Maybe that's you, maybe that's someone else. The other thing is that I'm really concerned about you know, people setting their roots and setting their, their um, a foundation for themselves. So many of us right now are under the influence of Saturn retrograde, Pluto retrograde, like 100%. And Saturn and Pluto moving through the sign of Capricorn wants to have firm roots for themselves. They want a home. They want the place where it is that they belong, where they will thrive, where they will grow, where they will be supported. And Saturn and Pluto together are working on a major, um, a major, you know, in the major realm of things in order to break down and restructure, in order to build something long for the long haul, for longevity. Now, if you're like, Jess, wait a minute, this sounds like a repeat, I feel like you've said this before, it's because I have, I did. This is not the first time in the near, like within the last, uh, I wanna say year and a half that we've been seeing this energy, this, this dance that's been going on with Saturn retrograde and Pluto retrograde last year. I kept talking about it because we were under the influence of that. It was, you know, punching out, it was giving out some lessons, it was whipping people into shape, it was breaking down businesses, breaking down relationships, breaking down habits, breaking down mental perceptions, and people were losing their minds because they're like, I did everything right. Why is this falling apart? Well, because Saturn and Pluto will destroy things that you and I can't see. But if we ground ourselves, if we center ourselves, if we find the space within ourselves that we belong in order to create security and stability for ourselves in a world that is chaotic and crazy around us, maybe for you in your personal life or maybe in the grand scope of things, if you look at government or our environment or whatever, you have to ground yourself and center yourself in order to connect with the truth. And when you connect with the truth, that's when you find out and you figure out, you know what? It may not look like I'm safe, but I'm actually I'm actually really safe right now. Or in order for me to be safe, I have to move away from this. That's something that it is that I'm seeing here is it's time for us to leave unhealthy situations. Yes, you know what? There can be um, you know, a spot that is beautiful that it is that you love, but again, if it's all thorns all the time, or if it's not giving to you, then that is not where you belong, my love. That is not where you belong. And I know that when someone heard me say that just now, they got goosebumps. They got chills because that is your message that resonates with you. That is true. That is reality. The challenge that is that I'm seeing for this week is the fact that we're having problems with grounding ourselves and centering ourselves. Mentally, it seems like, you know what, we're lying to ourselves. It's if we see something again that we find beautiful or that we love, sometimes we see only the good in, in it or sometimes we see only the bad. It's crazy because it's easy to find sometimes for a lot of people, it makes sense to see only the good in one person, ignore the negative. But if you see a beautiful thing, why look for what's wrong with it? Why look for ways to beat it down? Well, it's because you're so used to and accustomed to you yourself be, being beaten down. In fact, that, that's what we're seeing for the start of this week is this energy of, you know what, I'm still guarded, I'm still protected, I still feel the need to fight and defend myself and to prove myself. You have nothing to prove to anybody but yourself and sometimes you are your own worst enemy. The word that I'm seeing as a whole is belonging. Where do I belong? Where do I need to, you know, where, where do I go in order to thrive? How can I connect with myself to feel like I belong in my own body? That is so huge. It's not always about going here, going there, doing this, achieving this, failing at this. Sometimes it's about coming into yourself, centering yourself. The other thing is I'm seeing this four of wands. I'm actually seeing someone put a stick here, a stick here, a wand here, and a wand here. And that is their sanctuary. Whatever it is, that safe space, that sacred space that it is that they're creating for themselves, that's where they invest themselves. That's where they put their energy and that's where they will get the benefit of it because they now found out that who they are and where they are is enough. It's not outside circumstances. It's not other people's opinions. It's not how much they're paying you. That is a representation of your value. It is how you see and feel about yourself and what you think about yourself. This is what it is that I'm seeing is the crown chakra, the third the third eye. If you ground yourself and center yourself, which is very important that you do this because we're gonna be struggling with that this week and it makes a lot of sense because sun moving through the sign of Gemini, 
you know, for, for definitely for the rest of this week, is making people, <laughs> I don't want to say erotic, but it's making people erotic. It's making them like, <laughs> it takes those thoughts and it like, if you have a bunch of butterflies or a bunch of hummingbirds in a in a cage and you shook it all up, they would start flying all over the all over the place. That's what conversation is looking like this week. That's what um, you know your intentions, your mind, your your thoughts, your ideas, all of these these conversations. That's what it looks like. I don't know why I'm like loving this little plant right here. It is so beautiful to me. It's so green and so lush. This is my new favorite color. I don't know if you can see that this green right here, but. It's just like pat, 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 pat. Thank you so much for being here, little guy. Also, heart chakra. Heart chakra, which is another thing. What do you love? What do you love? What is it that you love? Again, sometimes people say, you know, when they see something beautiful, they find a million ways to destroy it. And they find a million ways to find what's wrong with it. And that's their mental. That's their mind. That's their logic. That's their um, reaction, their habit. But your habit, just because it's a habit, just because it's something that you've become accustomed to, does not mean that it's going to serve you and your heart chakra. It's not gonna help you to thrive. It's going to limit you. If you connect with your intuition by grounding, by centering yourself, you will see the truth that the universe has left something there. High Priestess knows, like intuitively, crown chakra, this is the energy of this entire week, that there is a blessing here and you know what it is that you need to do from a space of love and passion and union. And that's what I'm seeing is that if you are open to the beauty, again, the beauty of what is here for you, thorns, rose, and all, if you are open to it, both aspects of it, not seeing only the thorn, not seeing only the rose, if you are open to seeing both of it, you will move into alignment, into harmony with that. But a part of that means being honest with yourself. A part of that means being honest with others. It's not seeing only black. It's not seeing only white. It's feeling out the gray area and understanding that there is something here for you. But in order to manifest it, in order to grow it, then you have to know that that is what is right for you, that that is what, where you belong and that word will resonate with you. This is where I belong. This is where I am destined to go. And if not, then it's time to leave. It's time to leave that unhealthy situation and move on to greener pastures or move on to something that wants to work with your energy, move on to something that is not being shady. And why am I saying shady? Because again, Sun Square Neptune is people or things or situations that are not giving you 100% their raw authentic selves. Maybe this is a person who says, oh no, I don't want anything serious, but in reality, their hearts do want it. Or maybe it's, I do want something serious, but in reality, their vibration, their energy is like, well, in reality, I want to play the field. Or maybe this is, I want to invest and put coin down for a new house, for a new home and buy this property, when in reality, there's termites. That house is term termite ridden, and that's what it is that you're going to be buying. Those tiny little things that are like, oh, it's a quick fix. Oh, is it? Is it really a quick fi fix? How much money is this going to cost me? How much energy is this going to cost me? These little mice, these termites, whether it be actual parasites living in your home or people or an energy um, living in your environment or friendships or conversations or gossip or negative thinking, they're going to eat down the foundation of where you should be safe and secure. And if that is truly the case, it's not about seeing only the rose. It's not about, you know, seeing only the beauty of the situation. It's about, okay, this is not okay this is not okay and i know exactly what it is that i need to do in order to get me out of a situation that could be detrimental to my my well-being and my my feelings of safety and it will eat away at my ability to feel safe within myself and to feel at home and to know that where i am is where i should be and again this is something that you're going to be fighting with that i'm seeing that people are going to be fighting with is their own intuition you know because their brains are trying to you know do the most and try to figure things out well the intuition talks to you through your feelings through your heart but also through the vibe the vibration how does it make you feel okay so that being said let's go ahead and talk about the start of the week the start of the week I'm seeing patience I'm seeing that you need to stay confident within yourself 
I need, I'm seeing that you need to stay confident within your own abilities. I'm seeing the removal of obstacles. I'm seeing you step into your power. This is about self-respect. This is about, okay, I wished for this. This is something that I want. This is something that I wished for. This is something that I asked for. I had to put it out into the universe and I had to stay confident that this is going to manifest into my life and it will. Whether the news that you're receiving at the start of this week from Monday through Wednesday, because there is a strong signal of messages coming in with the Page of Cups and the Eight of Wands, whether it's coming from a leadership, whether it's coming from a masculine energy, whatever it is, or you're the one who's delivering news and giving information and speaking from your heart, you have to be confident and you have to know what it is that you want. It's almost like you have to be clear and you being clear on your intention, you being clear on your boundaries, you being clear on what you want and what you expect and what you won't settle for anymore is going to help you to manifest this thing. It's not about you know, pushing your will or forcing your will because that's the emperor reversed. This is about being in a space where you are standing up for yourself, where you are firm in where it is that you stand. If you set intention on the new moon in Gemini, that was last you know, last week, if you set intention, don't give up on that intention because it is growing. You just need to have patience with it. You need to have confidence that the energy that you put out is strong. But what I am seeing is that there's a lot of Archangel energy, especially Archangel Michael, who is working to clear out the obstacles that are preventing you from connecting and moving in harmony and alignment with your wish. There are some things, sometimes, that even obstacles within yourself, obstacles on the outside, the external, but also a lot of obstacles within that need to get destroyed, that need to get broken down so that you can manifest, so that you can bring things in. This is not usually something that happens overnight because it is, in a lot of ways, it's a miracle. It can happen overnight, but it's about stepping into a new way, wave. It's stepping into a new way of thinking and doing and receiving and achieving and accomplishing. So there's a lot of things that need to get broken down and because they're so huge, because they're so major and because they've been rigid and set in stone for so long, it can it can take people a little time to get comfortable and accustomed to that. So instead of you giving up and instead of you forcing your will and getting frustrated and abandoning the ship, I'm seeing you holding your holding your holding your stance. I'm saying you I'm seeing you standing in a space where you're trying to be positive. Being positive does not mean that you're lying to yourself. It, or that you're being delusional. This is about you saying, look, I put this out there and I want it to manifest it. Um, I'm getting frustrated, I'm getting disappointed, but I'm going to trust. I'm still going to try to move into a space of trusting. I'm not gonna give up just yet because the universe wants to bring this into my life. And I called it out there. Um, there is a huge emphasis on the word self-respect. This is about you know, not settling for less than what it is that you deserve. Um, this is about you moving from a space of love this is about allowing people to be patient with you. This is allowing you to speak up without having to feel punished. This is you giving yourself a chance. And this is you not spreading yourself in ways where it's not self-respectful. You know what I mean? Where you compromise your integrity. When you are honest with who you are, what you want, and people are honest with you, and if they can't be, then they don't match your vibration, so again, they don't need to be there. Or you need to speak up and say, you know what, I love you, but maybe I need to love you from afar because what you are giving to me and how you are treating me is not at all how I would treat you, and it's also not how I would treat myself, and this is not what I would deserve, okay? So there is this space of being patient and, um, you know, respect, you know, for how things grow, but also you are also growing. You are also nurturing yourself, so you need to give yourself a chance, and if you are in this new environment and you are taking care of this new environment, then if you bring in, you know, termites into this new environment from the past, they are going to eat away everything that you have built here. So there are some things that cannot come with you from the past into the future or into the present because they are not a part of your future. They will eat away. And the king of the emperor here knows that. And this is some, you know, words, some honesty, some um, nurturing, some gentleness that needs to happen here. This softness that needs to happen. and But softness in the way that it's like, okay, well, this is my boundary and this is where I'm at. And I have to be protective of myself. I have to be gentle and nurturing with myself. And you'll see why this is important at the end of the week, on the weekend. 
if that makes any sense. Sometimes when we say, I can hear some of you guys being like, well wait Jess, the Emperor is here, so is that soft? The Emperor isn't known for being soft, He, but he's known, his energy, the, this energy of this card is about being assertive and knowing what you want and being firm within that. And you being firm and steadfast in what it is that you want doesn't mean that you have to be, you know, um, like an asshole. It doesn't mean that you have to be rude. It doesn't mean that you have to be domineering. It's just, no. You know, Jess, do you want to come out tonight? No. <laughs> or, you know, and you don't have to give an explanation. Maybe you, if you want to, you can, but you don't have to explain yourself. Or, you know, if you're in a relationship right now and they're just like, you know, they're, or you're wanting a relationship and you know, they're like, okay, well, do you want to meet up? No, I don't. And you know why I don't want to meet up. You know why. Let's say you're trying to invest in a business or you're, you have a conversation with your boss and even though your boss is leader or, you know, employs you and they say, well, can you do this for me? No, I can't. No, I can't. I can't. You know why? Because I'm working on this, 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 and this. I can't do that. So it's not, that's not rude. You shouldn't take offense to that. That's just me being honest with you. The answer is no. Or maybe it's yes. But it's up to you. Like ultimately, again, you know what to do. You know what to do. And that doesn't mean, okay, this logically makes sense. It's about my heart. It's about my heart's health, my heart's happiness. What is it that makes me feel happy? What is it that loves me? What do I adore? That's what I'm going to give my energy to. I'm not going to ignore, me doing that does not mean that I'm going to ignore the thorns. I see the beauty of it, but it's going to help me to understand. Now, if you're thorns, if you keep pricking me with those thorns, then it's like, again, I'm going to have to love you from a distance because you keep hurting me. All right. Now, second of the second portion of this week is uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And basically what we're seeing is, again, some nurturing, some easy does it. There's this vibe that keeps coming up of being being willing to forgive or just forgiveness in general. There's this vibe of safety and protection and gentleness. I don't know why forgiveness has been coming up. I think this is because Saturn is retrograde and Pluto is retrograde. It's been coming up a lot for me. I personally, when I first came to New Orleans, I forgave everybody that I needed to but I'm still seeing this kind of card show up. I'm a part of the collective, so I have to respect it. But I, um, I've, I've just been really interested in like, okay, well, who, who do I need to forgive here? And it's sometimes it's ourselves. Either way, this is about clearing out. This is about clearing out past pains, past suffering. Maybe it's the universe, forgiving the universe, forgiving God, forgiving the angels or whoever for what they have how the cards have fallen for you and the circumstances that have been around you and your situation. And so in order to forgive how things have happened, it's going to help you to be like, okay, yes, my life has looked like this up until this point, but I have to have faith that things are different now. They have to be different because I am different. And in order for me to change my circumstances, in order for me to change my future, I also have to be different. And that means that I have to forgive, I have to release, I have to say goodbye to these past things. Now, finally, there's a lot of confirmation here saying that you and the people that you love and where it is that you're going and the place that you belong is actually safe for you and here for you. That is what you are learning. These past situations, see workshop, workshops and seminars, this isn't just actual um, classes, unless you are taking classes or doing yoga or whatever. This is things that you hear, circumstances, situations, this new way of thinking. All of our life is an experience. So if all of our life is an experience, then every experience is a class and you are learning every day. So you are learning again how to start fresh, how to start brand new without carrying the burdens of the past into the present. Sorry guys, the space on my camera kind of filled up. Let me make sure that we're focused on me. There we go. So if this truly is the case where you are nervous about where you're going and you know putting down money or investing in a relationship, a thing, a property, I don't know why I keep saying property, but um, 
a, a home, a school, you know, whatever, it, it makes sense. You know, the universe doesn't say to you, like, why are you so scared? Like, duh, look at my past experiences. Last time I entered into a relationship, it ended up with them doing whatever, and I just was totally broken by that, and why would I want to put myself vulnerable again? That is truth. That's not you lying to yourself and being like, oh, positive thinking. The reality is, is that your experiences have taught you to be cautious, and that's okay. So instead of looking at that and being mad at yourself for being like, well, okay, if my vibe attracts my tribe, and in the past I attracted so and so and Katie and jo Joanne and Jennifer, and they were gossiping about me, and I, I was calling them my best friends or whatever, and it, it turned out that they were backstabbers. That then I meet these new girls, you know, it's like, and they want to hang out with me, and I'm nervous about this. It's like, well, duh, of course, you know, I'm, the universe isn't asking you to lie to yourself and call it positive thinking. It says, look. We realize that you are entering into a new space and you don't know what's going to come. You don't know if these girls are going to be your best friends forever or if they're going to betray you in some way or whatever the case is. But we just because that has happened to you in the past, forgive those girls, forgive yourself for being scared and walking on eggshells a little bit with them. But you can say to the universe, you can say to the divine, you can say to your angels, look, you're bringing this into my life. I'm very vulnerable right now. I am scared, but I'm going to learn to trust you. Why are we having issues focusing right now? What is going on with my camera right now? That's never happened before. I don't know what that means, if it even means anything. But yeah, my camera just went out of focus out of nowhere. But I'm going to take that as focus on, <laughs> focus on nurturing yourself, focusing on forgiving the past, focus on what is that you're building, what is that you're creating, and give people and situations a chance but don't be naive don't be naive on that that's being connected to the universe being connected to the divine listening to your intuition but also grounding yourself and looking for the facts that being said you're going to enter into a space of peace you're going to not have a heavy expectation of yourself to just be like oh yeah new love let me just throw myself into this no girl you and i both know that the last time you threw yourself into a relationship, it didn't end too well, right? So now we're gonna take our time, easy does it, we're gonna nurture it, we have time, there's no time to rush. If this is the person of your dreams, there's no need to rush into it, take time. You are worthy, you are a queen, you are a king. Invest yourself wisely, you are now safe. You are safe, why? Because you call the shots. If something feels off, you now know that you can communicate about it. Tell me the truth, what's going on, and if I find out, then I'm gonna handle things and this relationship is gonna be, you know, taken in a different direction. But I can only trust right now. So, and that is new. And also, that being said, if it is new, things need time to develop so that you know that you can trust that person or you can trust that thing or whatever, okay? And again, that's gonna be something that it is that we're gonna be struggling with this week is grounding and centering and finding the space that it is that we belong. And um, the way to do that is by you know, slow and steady, slow and steady. Yes, the planets are about, you know, very chaotic and very emotional and very reactive, but they're also there for you to connect on the flip side of that, the positive side of that, is that they're asking you to connect with your feeling, your emotion, your intuition, and to find facts, ask questions, communicate, have conversations, and then when you find out the truth, and then if you find out you know what's going on for good or for bad then you can decide what's next to do because then you will know what to do so that's what it is that I'm seeing for Wednesday through Friday now Friday and Saturday and Sunday this was wild to me because I pulled the Empress twice and I have iffy feelings about this but there's two things that it is that I see because the Knight of Swords is about um, really finding out things, you know, finding out information, finding out facts, and delivering facts, de delivering information. And sometimes with the Swords, what we have to say doesn't match our heart. And that's why Knight of Swords can be difficult for emotions because Knight of Swords and Swords in general doesn't factor in that level of emotion. Because if we operate from our heart only, we would just be gushy. We would be mushy and gushy all the time. 
and it would be hard for us to sometimes embrace the truth and that is the reality okay so even operating from your heart can be tough it can be a struggle just as much as operating from your mind that's why you want to connect with your intuition that's why you want to ground yourself and center yourself because there I'm also seeing a lot of divine timing lately and things kind of working themselves out I've been pulling the temperance card but the other thing is that the Empress the Empress's energy here two of them twice that's very significant at Friday Saturday Sunday this is self-respect again knowing your worth knowing what you deserve if you are in a space see the card truth came out truth if you are in a oh god and base chakra which is not a bad thing but this is base chakra is again where am i safe where am i secure and the truth will show up the truth will present itself and say okay you are secure here and this is where you can thrive this is where you can grow you can plant your seed you can build a family you can have security for yourself and this is something that you know intuitively emotionally your feeling is but for others this can really trigger like okay i thought i could ground myself here i thought that this is where it is that i belong but it actually feels like this is where i'm trapped this cycle this space this relationship this situation um, this investment is probably not something that i can count on and i've learned that by asking the questions that i needed to ask and by communicating throughout the entire week also who's communicating with you who are they you know are they invested are, like that's to me like i'm a virgo i'm earth energy so and I have a lot of Venus in my chart too. So I always look at, okay, I want beauty. I want luxury. I want to feel comfortable and safe and provided for because also cancer rising and the moon. I mean, there's a lot going on, but a lot for me is I look at relationships, everything as, can I invest in it? Is it going to make me feel safe? Is it going to make me feel secure? And is it going to invest in me in the same way that I will give to it? And if it is, then it's, you know it's a match you know if not then we're not on the same wavelength and I I'm learning to not you know invest so much of myself in things that will not match my vibration or not on the same level as me and that's not me being higher than them or me being lower than them it's just we're not on the same playing field you're on that team over there I'm on this team over here so some it almost seems like our intentions work against each other so that doesn't change my value that doesn't change my worth it just means that I'm not going to receive from from you and I shouldn't give to you or I won't give to you in the way that you deserve or um, I won't receive from you in the way that I deserve so that is the truth and I we have to disconnect and the other thing that I'm seeing is that you know you could be learning about where you feel trapped within your life and you could be releasing and letting go and relying on the universe now more than ever relying on god re relying on your angels relying on the divine relying on yourself the inner divinity within you in order to release yourself and to remove yourself from a space that keeps you held back and that is the truth of that situation if you are operating from base chakra only you are always only con focused and considering your survival if you are only focused on your survival then you can't prosper you can't grow you can't give your gifts to the universe so ask for the abundance of the universe ask for the universe to provide for you ask for your heart to be safe ask for you to be safe ask for your mind to be creative if you're only thinking about paying your rent and paying your bills and you know you know trying not to get shot while you're walking home that's the reality a lot of people live in that reality if you're focusing on that then you can't think about your next creative project. You can't think about healing others. You can't think about your destiny, your purpose, because you are trying not to get shot. You're trying not to get um, run over. You're trying not to get murdered, raped, um, kidnapped. You know, and that, that's hard, my guys. Like, that's some hard truth, but that is the reality. There are a lot of people who are living in survival mode. Maybe it's not that intense, but there how many women walk home clutching their purses because they're in a, an environment, a neighborhood, where they are not safe to walk home at night. They have to take the bus 
to get to their job and walk through the city or walk through wherever and coming back home or biking home, they have to look over their shoulders because someone could grab them in the middle of the night. Or let's say your family, your friends around you, if I'm constantly concerned that you are going to do something to hurt me, I am so focused on protecting myself that I can't take my vibration to the next level. Maybe it's not that serious for some of you guys. Maybe it's, you know, you really are working on base root chakra, your career, your work, your job, your purpose, um, you know, making money, paying the bills that you can't actually step into the truth of who it is that you are and what it is that you are here to receive and this, this space of growing and nurturing and being provided for. This is this card that says most people are trying to survive. They're just trying to survive. And if that is the case, they're not focused on love. They're not focused on a higher vibration because they are doing the bare minimum. That's what I don't want for my tribe is for you guys to stay in the space of bare minimum. What I'm seeing is the ending of that cycle, the total release of that cycle. Here Kalima is, and I love her. She's on my altar now. I've been working with her so much lately. But of course she shows up at the end of this week, or just in general. But of course she shows up to say that that cycle where you are trapped is done. That is the truth here, is that maybe some of you guys have been focusing so much on base chakra, root chakra, which is fine. No one's judging you. But again, this is about releasing those things that have kept you trapped. For some of you guys, you might have all of the potential. You might be reaping in all of the reward of good ideas and opportunities or relationships. Or maybe you're very successful in your work, but you are not thriving in relationships and in love because to your core, you feel like you don't deserve it. And you are one person who is still stuck on survival mode because of the things that have happened to you as a child. Those are things that are going to keep you trapped that it is now time for you to release and to let go of. This card is the card of release. The last thing too is beloved one. I wanna read this to you, Archangel Shemuel. I am helping you with your spiritual soulmate relationship. So again, for some of you guys, this is not about career or work. This is about, am I safe in my relationship? Do I deserve this? This is, am I worthy? Am I valuable? And the reality is, yes, you are. You are an empress. You are an empress, yo, twice. You are an empress. You are an empress. And this is not just feminine energy. This is not just for my females. This is not for, you know, um, you know, you know, feminine energy as, as a whole. This is from, for guys too, masculine energy. You are willing to receive, you are willing to receive someone who loves you in full, who wants to nurture you, who wants to give to you, who you can trust and that you can do things differently. Your family and the men in your family might not have done things the same way. They might not have ch cherished or valued, you know, creativity. They may not have valued your self-expression. They may not have valued your colorfulness. They may not have valued, they may not have valued, you know, one woman only. <laughs> and the beauty of what it's like to pair with someone who actually has your best interest at heart and actually loves you unconditionally and you valuing them for that. You know what I mean? Like, that is the truth and the reality for a lot of people, but you are worthy of that. And there is someone within your life who is capable, who is the empress. Or maybe it's not... Um, a, a feminine energy that's coming into your life. It could be creativity. It could be creative projects. It could be you expressing yourself or you receiving the abundance. You receiving a mon money. Most people are just trying to survive. Well, you know what? That's some base chakra, like root chakra. I need to clear this out. I need to release this type shit. That's that vibration that you are beyond now. So that's what is I'm seeing at the end of this week and this weekend. So what is that's working for us? Yo, look. Two of Cups, Partnership, Union, Harmony. We saw that at the start of this week when we saw Relationship, Harmony. Things are coming together. This is not things that we fight for. No, why would we fight for this? This universe is infinite. This universe is abundant. In fact, I'm not gonna fight for something. I'm gonna leave something that I feel like I have to convince you of my worth and my value. Why would you lie to me? Why would you try to sell me something that you are not capable of or why would you try you try to make money off of this so not only did you lose this sale not only did you lose this investment that i would have given to you now but you also lost all of who i could have told that would have invested in you because of this one this selfish most i'm just trying to survive i did whatever i could do in order to get this one sale and in that 
I lost all, you know what I mean? That's that mind, that thinking, that mindset where people are just, they're doing whatever it is that they can in order to, you know, get in the now that in fact you doing just, just that makes you lose the abundance, this 10 of pentacles energy that could provide for you lifetime, generation, generation. You could be the one that could switch things up, but because you are operating from, you know, survival mode, you lost everything. So you guys want to be very careful because there's this energy here of harmony and coming together with something incredible. This is not something that is easy and effortless. In fact, I'm seeing some egos being driven here. But I'm also seeing that for some of you guys, you need to be a little bit more selfish with who you are in alignment with. That is the strength here is, okay, this is what's going to work for me is me kind of doing what's best in my best interest and me giving myself everything and me not giving up on myself and me connecting with the right people at the right time, at the right place, the right moment. So I hope that that all makes sense, everyone. I honestly, I'm so grateful. Um, we're almost at 70K on the YouTube channel, which blows my mind. Um, so it just really means a lot to me that you come in, that you tune in, and that you leave your comments, you leave your experiences, because I resonate with them as well. So I wanna thank you so much for watching. I wanna thank you so much for sharing on Facebook. I've been seeing a lot of Facebook shares. I've been missing that, but I've been seeing it now. On Twitter, on Instagram, sharing my um, the conversations that, is that we're having here on your stories. It means so much to me, so I wanna encourage you to do that and keep spreading the word, and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you so much for tuning in. Bye.